Next tonight, we have heard directly from some local nursing students that a new program at Trocare College could threaten their careers, they say, before they even begin. The group says the school wanted to roll out a new test called HESI. This would uh, gauge whether a student is likely to pass the national licensing exam. These students tell us those who don't earn a certain score would be kicked out of the nursing program. Well, 7 News reporter James Catato is live from Trocare's campus tonight with new information that could come as a relief to these students. James, what'd you find out? Leah, I'm live right here at Trocare College in South Buffalo, and nursing students are telling me that just as of last Tuesday that the college reversed its decision to make third and fourth semester students take the Health Education Systems Incorporated exam as a benchmark to retain their student status. Now this just got reversed, but it took a lot of pushback from students to get to this point, and they're still not all the way out of the woods just yet. Now just to let you know, I did talk to some concerned nursing students here at Trocare that wanted to remain anonymous for their own safety. As some nursing students prepare for graduation and become full-time nurses, it's kind of bittersweet. Because a recent decision from Trocare College is saying third and fourth semester students no longer have to take the Health Education Systems Incorporated exam, or the HESI, to determine if they're eligible to take the National Council Licensure exam, or the NCLEX. But second semester students must still pass the exam. You feel for those that are going to go through what you've already gone through to get to where you're at, and it's going to be that much harder of a road for them. I want to give some context here. This is something we were notified of from concerned Trocare students weeks ago. The students messaging us on Facebook saying they were notified of the change during orientation and that even if you're a high honors student, you would still lose your place in the program should you fail the HESI three times. That, that opportunity to save someone's life shouldn't be taken away from someone simply based on a predictive exam. It's just not right. I reached out to Trocare for comment on September 1st. They sent me this message. HESI exit exams have been shown to be predictive of later success on the NCLEX exam. This exam serves as a benchmark for students to let them know what they need to study in order to do well on the NCLEX. They have to take it every semester, but it doesn't normally act as a determining factor of whether or not you stay in school until now. If we fail it three times, we're completely out of the program, whereas the national exam that is required all over the nation, you can sit for it as many times as you want. And when I spoke with second semester nursing students who are still required to take it, they're worried their curriculum doesn't prepare them for the HESI. Taking the HESI in the past, it was questions from fourth semester that we don't even know yet. And now they claim to have um, changed the HESIs, but how are you changing it when they're already made exams? Once I found this out, I, I did cry because it's upsetting. Because we were grandfathered into the original HESI policy where it was just checking our progression. Now they're looking to continue the fight on getting the progression requirement removed completely. And I know there's a lot of us, but I think we need to fight for it if something really needs to, you know, if we really want something to change. Now, in terms of that change actually taking place, there is a petition on change.org that nearly has 700 signatures between Trocare alumni and current Trocare nursing students. I did also reach out to Trocare College for a follow-up as to why third and fourth semester students have basically gotten off the hook with the HESI and why second semester students are still required to take it. I have yet to hear back. But for now, live in South Buffalo, James Catato, 7 News. All right, hopefully they can all figure out what's best here, James. Thank you so much.